Rational functions Rational functions are functions that are a ratio of two polynomials. They are in the form of f of x is equal to g of x divided by h of x. And the h of x is not equal to zero. Where the function g of x, the numerator, is a polynomial. And the function h of x, the denominator, is a polynomial. An example of the rational function is x squared plus 7 over x plus 4. The numerator and the denominator. Here are other examples of rational functions and their graphs. One distinct property of rational functions is the presence of asymptotes. Rational functions have asymptotes. It is a line that the curve approaches as it heads towards infinity or negative infinity. It is a line that is the limiting value of a curve. Horizontal asymptotes are horizontal lines that the graph of the function approaches as x tends to infinity. This asymptotes run parallel to the x-axis, the curve runs closer and closer to this horizontal line, but will never intersect nor touch it. Vertical asymptotes are vertical lines near which the function grows without bound. This asymptotes run parallel to the y-axis, the curve runs closer and closer to this vertical line, but will never intersect nor touch it. When a linear asymptote is not parallel to x, o r y axis, it is called a slant asymptote, or an oblique asymptote. The curve runs closer and closer to this oblique asymptote, but will never intersect nor touch it. Let's look at the horizontal asymptote. As the curve goes to infinity, or negative infinity, the curve approaches some constant value b. Thus, the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to b. Let's look at this rational function. To find its horizontal asymptote, we will simply compare the values of the highest exponent of each polynomial. These are also terms as the degrees of the polynomials. In the numerator, the highest exponent is 2. And in the denominator, it is also 2. Since the exponents are the same, we can just divide the coefficient. In this case it's 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Thus, horizontal asymptote is y equals 3. Here is horizontal asymptote y equals 3. Let's show just a portion of the curve of the given function. The curve runs closer and closer to the horizontal line y equals 3, but will never intersect nor touch it. Let's look at this rational function. To find its horizontal asymptote, we will simply compare the values of the highest exponent of each polynomial. These are also terms as the degrees of the polynomials. In the numerator, the highest exponent is 1. And in the denominator, it is also 1. Since the exponents are the same, we can just divide the coefficient. In this case it's 4 divided by 2 equals 2. Thus, 
horizontal asymptote is y equals 2. Here, the horizontal asymptote is y equals 2. Let's show just a portion of the curve of the given function. The curve runs closer and closer to the horizontal line y equals 2, but will never intersect nor touch it. In the numerator, the highest exponent is 3. And in the denominator, it is 2. Notice that the exponents are bigger on top. This means, there is no horizontal asymptote. Let's look at this rational function. To find its horizontal asymptote, we will simply compare the values of the highest exponent of each polynomial. These are also terms as the degrees of the polynomials. Let's look at this rational function. To find its horizontal asymptote, we will simply compare the values of the highest exponent of each polynomial. Now notice, in the numerator, the highest exponent is 2, and in the denominator, it is 1. So, the exponents are bigger on top. This means, there is no horizontal asymptote. Let's look at this rational function. To find its horizontal asymptote, we will simply compare the values of the highest exponent of each polynomial. In the numerator, the highest exponent is 2. And in the denominator, it is 3. Notice that the exponents are bigger on bottom. This means, the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. Let's look at this rational function. To find its horizontal asymptote, we will simply compare the values of the highest exponent of each polynomial. In the numerator, the highest exponent is 1. And in the denominator, it is 2. Notice that the exponents are bigger on bottom. This means, the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. Here, the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. Let's show just a portion of the curve of the given function. The curve runs closer and closer to the horizontal line y equals 0, but will never intersect nor touch it. Let's look at the vertical asymptote. As x approaches some constant value c, from left or right, then the curve goes towards infinity, or negative infinity. Thus, the vertical asymptote is y equals c. Let's consider this rational function. To find its vertical asymptote, we will simply set the denominator to 0, then solve for x. So, that would be 2x plus 6 equals 0. Then, solving for x, we get x equals negative 3. Thus, the vertical asymptote is x equals negative 3. Here, the vertical asymptote is x equals negative 3. Let's show just a portion of the curve of the given function. The curve runs closer and closer to the vertical line x equals negative 3, but will never intersect nor touch it. For this function, 
we have previously solved for the horizontal asymptote, which is y equals 2. Thus, we can now show the whole curve of the given function. The curve runs closer and closer to the vertical asymptote x equals negative 3, as well as to the horizontal asymptote y equals 2. But the curve will never intersect nor touch both lines. Let's consider this rational function to find its vertical asymptote. We will simply set the denominator to 0, then solve for x. So, that would be x plus 2 equals 0. Then, solving for x we get x equals negative 2. Thus, the vertical asymptote is x equals negative 2. Here, the vertical asymptote is x equals negative 2. Let's show just a portion of the curve of the given function. The curve runs closer and closer to the vertical line x equals negative 2, but will never intersect nor touch it. For this function, what is the horizontal asymptote? Notice the highest exponent is bigger on top. This means there is no horizontal asymptote. What this curve has is an oblique asymptote. So let's go to oblique asymptotes. As x goes to infinity, or negative infinity, then the curve goes towards a line y equals mx plus b, where m is not zero. That line is the oblique asymptote. To know if a function has oblique asymptotes, simply look at the values of the highest exponent of each polynomial of the function. If the exponent is bigger on top, then the function has an oblique asymptote. Let's consider the rational function we had previously. Define the slant, or oblique asymptote. We can use the method of long division, synthetic division, or factoring. First method, let's divide using long division. We can get the asymptote from the quotient. Thus, the oblique asymptote is y equals x minus 4. Let's do the second method, divide using synthetic division. The oblique asymptote is y equals x minus 4. Let's do the third method, factorization method. The oblique asymptote is y equals x minus 4. Let's do the graph of the rational function. We have previously solved for the vertical asymptote which is x equals negative 2. We also already know the oblique asymptote is y equals x minus 4. Now we can graph the whole curve. The curve runs closer and closer to the vertical asymptote x equals negative 2, as well as to the oblique asymptote y equals x minus 4. 
but the curve will never intersect nor touch both lines.